It's Boxing Mind TV. You know, I'm here again. You know what I'm saying? Getting it, getting it cracking right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all read the title, so let's get to it, man. So, you know, Terrence Crawford recently made an interview on Sirius XM on the show called AK and Barack. Um, and he talked about some things uh, boxing related. They asked him a question about, you know, certain things about boxing. Um, things I'm going I'm to I'm bring up in this in this uh, video is about the stuff he said about Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao. So he basically said, you know, that he's fully focused on Pacquiao, you know, fully focused on getting Pacquiao next and fighting Pacquiao. You know, he almost had a deal with Pacquiao before the Brook fight. You know, it just it didn't fall through for, you know, certain reasons about the fans and stuff. So he's wanna he wants to revisit that nego revisit that situation and try to get that fight um signed, sealed, and delivered, which is a smart thing for him to do, you know, because he wants to he wants to fight Pacquiao as soon as he can get it, be for real. Cause you don't we don't know when Pacquiao is gonna say, I right, forget it, you know what I'm saying? I done enough in the sport. I don't need to fight no more. You know what I'm saying? I done enough. You know, my body breaking down possibly. You know, you just never know when he's gonna be out. And you know, everybody wants to fight a legend, you know what I'm saying? Or wants to be the one to take out a legend. You know what I'm saying? Send him home packing, send him home retired. You know what I'm saying? So Terrence Crawford is doing right by chasing Pacquiao, going after Pacquiao. Smart move. It's also a smart move because you wanna even up the playing field uh uh by facing Pacquiao you know what I'm saying even up playing field so if you beat Pacquiao and you get his belt now you get his belt and then you go in, go into negotiations with Errol Spence you have a little leverage you know what I'm saying you both both of you guys have two belts each you know um and from your numbers from Pacquiao how that how that how that event went it could help them in negotiations you know what I'm saying to make the fight happen I personally don't care about the money how they split the money we as fans just want y'all to come together and make the fights you know what i'm saying we don't, i don't really care about the money because it doesn't affect me what affects me is me uh watching the fights i want to watch the fight i want to see the fights i want to see who who's who's better out the two that night and i just want to enjoy it as a fan so um so you know but that would help them business wise to figure out you know the best situation for them to make the fight contract wise you know so but and he also was saying you know that uh with the Errol Spence situation that he doesn't um he doesn't need the Errol Spence fight he still feels like he doesn't need the Errol Spence fight the Errol Spence fight is what some people say he needs you know for his legacy but he feel like he says that you know Errol Spence needs him he doesn't need Errol Spence you know and in my opinion on that that's not necessarily true you know it's almost like it reminds me again about you know the Pacquiao Mayweather situation you know Mayweather would come out you know when Pacquiao was doing his thing Mayweather would come out and basically say you know he don't need Pacquiao Pacquiao needs him and situation like that you know what I'm saying but when the actuality you know we all knew that Mayweather and Pacquiao have to fight each other no matter the situation that you know Pacquiao came out of nowhere and was you know you know he made made some noise when Mayweather was retired you know what I'm saying and he made some noise made some good noise and everybody clamoring for that fight you know what I'm saying even though Mayweather saying you know at the time saying that saying that uh Saying that he doesn't need Pacquiao and, and you know he doesn't you know doesn't really need the pack he already you know his his legacy is already you know stamped and approved basically he doesn't need him he's already a Hall of Famer a living legend all this stuff but I feel like you know the same way Terrence Crawford's doing is basically saving face that you know if the fight doesn't happen it is what it is you know what I'm saying I never I never told y'all the fight was gonna happen you know what I'm saying and and but 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 deep down they know that the fight needs to happen and just like when Mayweather Pacquiao was, was made you know it was like all right we you know they started saying like we needed to make this fight for the fans you know what I'm saying you know this fight needed to happen but before it was like you know say I don't we the the I don't need him you know what I'm saying he needs me you know what I'm saying 
they saying that because you know saying it's Terrence Crawford saying saying that because the fight is difficult to make you know what I'm saying two different promotions two different TV networks it's difficult to make so they seen the chances of it making if somebody's too greedy or you know don't want to you know split the pie the right way you know which was the, the percentages or whatever that each gets um, uh, of the revenue percentage percentage of it, what each fighter gets from the revenue and um and and the the networks and stuff you know they, it just seems too complicated you know what i'm saying it seems too complicated we know it, it can it can work out it can happen you know uh maybe with pack up eventually got it done then deontay wilder and um and tyson Fury got it done even in the past i feel like mike tyson and somebody else got it done too i can't i can't remember who was i don't know if it was lynch lewis or event yeah, probably lives lewis but i feel like mike tyson did it too so anyway they got it done you know what i'm saying but it's just very hard to probably to 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 do though you know because it's a lot of it's a lot of um, pieces together and that pieces you have to be put together to make that fight so it's i guess it's easier easier for them to say i don't need them you know what i'm saying the fight doesn't get made it's basically not my fault and so on and so forth but when the fight gets made i'm like we 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 need to make the fight happen for the fans this is a good fight it's a good fight for my legacy they're gonna speak all good things about the fight so it's just it just it's just normal normal talk you know what i'm saying don't believe it usually you know i don't believe it i don't believe what they're saying you know they don't need to fight you know i know you need to fight you know it's a big legacy fight if you don't have the fight just like maybe maybe the pacquiao if they didn't have the fight it would have been a uh, uh asterisk on they um on their records you know what i'm saying that they didn't fight each other you know what i'm saying like they didn't make the fight happen it'll be a big if big what if you know what i'm saying you don't want no what ifs in in, in your um in your in your career if you can avoid that you know what i'm saying if you can avoid it, if you make the fight happens cool make the fight happen you know what i'm saying you don't want no um ready bow and um um was it ready bow and lens lewis situation you know what i'm saying even you know you you don't you don't want to keep bringing you don't have that keep bringing up what if you guys would have fought you know y'all both was right there ready for each other and y'all you know y'all's prime and ready you don't want to keep hitting that 20 years down the line 20 years later you want to you want to you want to retire in peace and know that you uh, uh, uh accomplished everything that you wanted to accomplish or you you at least tried to accomplish everything that you wanted to accomplish you know what i'm saying so Terrence Crawford saying that to me is bogus. You know what I'm saying? He's just talking. But I do understand that he I understand that he wants to fight, go after Pacquiao. And he should. He should go after Pacquiao. Do everything you can to go after Pacquiao. It's the biggest money fight you can get right now. You know what I'm saying? Biggest money fight you can get. And you at the same time you find a legend. You know the experience is gonna be great for you. Everything it's gonna be like it's gonna be, uh, uh, yeah, the biggest fight of his career. And he should go after that. Everybody's going after Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? It's up to Pacquiao to choose who he wants to fight next. You know what I'm saying? So that's the that that that's the thing. So we'll we'll see what happens. But Terence Crawford is doing right, going after Pacquiao, being focused on Pacquiao. He doesn't doesn't he doesn't care what you know Spence does to Danny Garcia on December fifth. Doesn't care about that. He's focusing on Pacquiao, and rightfully rightfully so he should because if he gets Pacquiao, he can somewhat even the playing fields in negotiations for his fight with Spence later next year. So y'all y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. It's Boxing Mind TV, and I'm back with another one soon. All right.